Hello everybody, welcome back to Undertale with me, the Void Talon. We are in the quiet area. We just beat the dummy and met Nefstabluk. Oh, whose house is this? Oh, it's, it's the dummy. What? 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 It's living! Yes, standing there. Hi. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. That was a freaky looking house. Oh. Oh, it's Napsabluk! Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. I'm kind of concerned what this is. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Uh, sure, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to actually eat it. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. Can I move? After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join? Sure, I'd love to feel like garbage. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Just enjoy the music, guys. We're gonna sit here for a bit. If nothing happens in five minutes, I'll be back. Whoa. What in the Lord of Jiminy Christmas is happening? It's the universe! It's space! I love space! Okay, I'm back. I've got my tea, but it doesn't let anything happen. Let's get up. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I'd like to watch on it sometimes. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. The CD is labeled Gulliday Music. Play it? Sure. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. Let's try the other ones. Spook Wave. This one's not bad. This one's labeled Spook Tunes. It's the same one, just played on a horn. <laughs> oh god, it stays on. Oh, a classic Spook Tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. Okay, I, I, I would like to go back to normal music. It's locked. But the light's on. Huh. You have a freaky nose! Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizon. Snail, snail. So snail is Sambuil. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Well, Toriel might know. I've been long overdue for a second house. The snail is, con is counting dollar bills. Oh, hi, Naps, Luke. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's ten gold to play. Sure, why not? Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Let's try not going too fast. Is it just me or does pressing the button stop the snail? You can do it, snail! Yeah, this doesn't really seem to be doing much of anything. 
yeah, it's not really doing that much. It's like every time you press Z, the snail goes, Oh, I can do it! I'll stop moving! Although, actually, I think this would have been possible to win had I actually, um, not just spammed it at the beginning there. Because you can see, I kind of caught up. You know, I'm gonna try that again. I should have read that out loud. You know what? We're gonna do it again. <laughs> oh, it looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. <laughs> well, I wanted to see what would happen. I guess that's the answer. The snail just goes, ah, I can't take this pressure to succeed. It's too great. I look probably really weird going ah, 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 like that. Oh, hi. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to the Bloop family snail farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Wonder who that might have been. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. North Blo North Bloop Acres, East Hotland. Mm -hmm. Temi Village. I've heard of Temi Village. Um, I'm doing, we'll put... I, was, I got this when I did that, we'll put the snowman piece in there too. I got this when, um, I did that thing with the relic and the dog. So I'm wondering what that really does. Hmm. This guy's old, so we should give him an old voice. Oh, well, if I tuck in my lips like this, this will work. Well, there! I've got some neat junk for sale. You want to buy a crab apple? How about some CT? What about some cloudy glasses? How about a torn notebook? Five defense, minus two defense, so it's three defense, but you're invincible when you get hit more. Huh. I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. No, I hear if you want to sell stuff, the Timmy Village is your best bet. Well, actually then, maybe I should go to Timmy Village if they'll buy stuff. Where is it? I don't remember. Whoa there. Don't go on yourself. I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you live through so much of it yourself. <laughs> You don't know what this is? Why are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune. It's in our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? As they always say, old King Fluffy Buns sure can't name for beans. <laughs> King's emblem's meaning. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning had been lost to time. We all know what the triangle symbolizes as monsters below and the wing circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it that an angel who has seen from the surface will be descended upon to bring us freedom. Lately, people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death. Is he talking about pacifist run and genocide run that saying the winged angel is what I'm be doing right now where I'm going through the underground sparing everybody and not killing anybody is this going to have a happy ending like do I free the monsters maybe as the prophecy says am I even the prophecy or is this just coincidence or if I was going to do a genocide run would I be killing everyone and therefore be the angel of death is this a self-fulfillment kind of thing a harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm in my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> God, I'm probably pissing people off with this voice. It's really annoying. Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's the local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the royal god. Actually, she just came through here asking someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It might save you hide. What about the king? King Fluffy Buds? 
He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call Dreamier Fluffy Buns? Oh, great story. I don't remember it. Of course, you're an old coot. But if you come back much later, I'm sure you'll remember by that. So do I have to come back at like, the end of the game and then talk to him? Oh, let's see. You know what? We'll buy some CD. I feel that might be useful. I've got a lot of money. What's what's more valuable to me? Well, you know, we'll buy it. We'll take a look at it. Be careful, right there, kid. Okay, let's take a look at this. Item. Um... Because I was wearing the ma the manly bandana, I believe. Information. Seven defense. So I dropped four defense. But I gained more invul- more, um... I gained more invulnerability when I get- you know, let's see if we can find a random battle real quick. Reckon Waterfall, I think. That's what this is with the caverns. I forgot what it's called. Oh, I love this place. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to, the, to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. So what Papyrus said regarding, um... Oh yeah, Papyrus. Ring, ring. What's that strange whisper? <clears throat> I might have to hang up. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. The only way a human can come here will remain trapped down here forever. Okay. Speaking of Tammy, I guess. We'll find out how long that invulnerability is, I guess. Um, let's flex for Tammy. Hmm. No! Muscles are not cute! I don't know, that might be really annoying. Oh, I have to disagree. No! Just the two of us, huh? Hi, Aaron! What are you doing? I just beat Temmie by summoning Aaron. Aaron is ready for your next. I summon Aaron! Flex for Aaron. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. I... I don't even... That was probably the most bizarre way I could have resolved that fight. These are cool. I like this place. But game I wonder Undertale's breaking a lot of like um game conventions. You walk into Mold Smalls. Why is one moving and one not? You approach Mold Small. Suddenly. <laughs> That's a big mold small. Also, that wasn't a lot of invulnerability. Mold big gyrates reversedly. You don't hu don't hug mold big. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Chaste wiggle. I Okay, actually, that is a decent thing, but that was four damage and a hit. Okay, we got it. Cool. Still, that was a lot of damage. We're gonna keep the manly bandana then. I should go back and buy some bicycles. The ones that heal you only for 11. What's this? I can go off the path here. What the? Oh god. This must be Temmie Village, isn't it? Well, I was pressing down on the keyboard, down and right, because what I was saying before I got attacked by, um, Moldbig is that 
in most games, you have hidden pathways where you can only see the area lit for you. There's always a path in the darkness. So I was running into the outer wall to see what would happen. And, well... Timmy! Hi, I'm Timmy. And this is my friend, Timmy. Hi, I'm Timmy. And this is my friend, Timmy. Hi, I'm Timmy. Don't forget my friend. Is he Timmy? Hi. I'm Bob. <laughs> Sorry, I saw it wasn't Timmy. I just had to give him a different voice. Hoy, you should check out Tem Shop. Yaha, I agree. You should tech Tem Top. Oh, God. It's a hard-boiled egg. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? My inner torment trapped here by my hyphae. Struggled to pull away and escape, but alas, no avail. Tem is allergic to Tem. This place is hurting my brain. So, the old geezer said I could sell stuff to him, so... I don't need this. Your face! You got a clawed glass. I gotta have the clawed gas, but I have to pay for college. And he's paying me more. What do you have for me? 2 HP, food of Tem. 2 HP, discount food of Tem. 2 HP, food of Tem, expensive. Tem pursue higher education. Why do I get a feeling that if I pay for him to go to college, something will happen? What does this even do? Dog item, glowing crystals secreted by a dog. Did it seriously? It seriously did. It seriously just filled my inventory with this crud. Well, I guess since we can sell it to... I just wasted a good healing item, dang it! Well, I guess since we can, this guy buys our shit, you know. Excuse me. Buys our crap. Then I guess we'll sell him the dog residue. We don't need it. This is a very easy way to make money. You know what? Okay, well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just rinse repeat this until I get a thousand gold, send Temi to college because I have a sneaking suspicion that's what I'm supposed to do, and we'll be back. Okay. We have 10,000, 10, we have 1,050 gold now, so we can officially pay for Temi to go to college. What? That's a lot of months. Can Tim really accept? Okay, it's Tim go to college and make you proud. Tim, you forgot your face. What? He just. I, I, what? Learn to sell new item. No, there, there is no way in hell I am buying that. I am not grinding out that much money. Congratulations at your education, Temmy, but you need to learn a little bit about supply and demand. Good God. We're gonna use this one more time. Just to get some quick money, because I had about 300... ...beforehand, and I'd like to buy some bicycles, so... That was, that was weird. That's all I have to say. That was really weird, and I can't see where I'm going. I'm literally just pulling the, I'm walking into stuff. I can't see where I'm going. Washua and Aaron appear. Tell a joke. 
You tell a joke about a kid who slept in the soil. Washua's power is neutralized. Oh no, Aaron, don't do that. Don't do that. It limits where I can move. Oh, okay, that takes care of Aaron quickly, because Aaron likes your joke. Now we can deal with Washua. Okay, well, that takes care of that. How do I... I need to finish lighting the pathway or something here. Because I can't see where I'm going now. Do I have to go light the other one? Huh? What? That's not the way these lit before. Without candles or magic to guide them, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Okay. I can see them. Oh, okay. I see. The path fades over time. Mold big. Uh, you don't tug mold big. Ah! Yay! We did it. Okay, let's get mold big out of the way. Now we deal with Washua. There's some really interesting attack patterns in this game. Uh, clean me, Washua. Ah, I can't get to those without getting hit. It's better to not get hit. Washua, you're throwing those everywhere. Well, I'm gonna spare you. Okay, I can see the next one. So I'm kind of glad I found Temi Village, but I'm kind of not glad I found Temi Village, because that was really weird. And Temi Armor said specifically it made they f made made makes fights too easy. And I don't really want to make that easy. I mean, maybe if I'm like having trouble beating something, I'll go back and buy Temi Armor. But I get the I can't even see. I get the feeling that I don't want to do this. I can't see a thing right now. Behind you. Oh, hi, Undyne. Undyne needs a voice. But I don't know much about Undyne's personality, so I can't really give her a voice easily. I mean, I know I know Undyne's female, but obviously I'm not good at doing female voices easily. Kind of a problem of having one of these. Mm. Seven. That's like the most manliest voice ever. Seven crystals. I am going to speak softly even though I'm a man. No. Oh! Hmm. Seven! Seven human souls! With the power of seven souls, our king, King Asgore Jamir, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. This is the best I'm gonna do, guys. I'm sorry. He will finally take to the surface and bring back... He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back... Give them back the pain and suffering that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance of redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. That's a spear. Hi. I forgot to do the voice for you because I just completely got... Yo! You did it! Undyne's right in front of you! You've got a front row seats to her fight! Wait, who is she fighting? Hey, you aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? Uh, I'm not going to get lucky like that again. Undyne is going to fight me soon. 
Mere passing conversation. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh? Of course I won't laugh. <coughs> Someday, I'd like to climb the, the mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world around is all my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. You hear passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, will return and the underground will go empty. Either by getting everybody out, or by killing everybody. Yo. Oh, it's this guy. Hey, Peach Voice Time! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're a human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I knew I know it now, but Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? No, I don't, I don't want to hate you. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, uh, I hate your guts. Aw, he's cute. <laughs> Man, I'm such a turd. I'm gonna go home now. You might want to look where you're going. I knew he was going to trip. Yo, wait, wait help! I'm trapped! Hi, Undyne. No, I'm helping him. You, 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 dude, if, if you, if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to go through me first. And she actually backed off. Friendship. It's good. She's gone. You really saved my skin. I guess being enemies is just a nice thought. <laughs> well, you'll just have to be friends instead. Man. I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. I'm getting sick of doing so many high-pitched voices between this guy and Temmie. Later, dude. This has the look of a boss fight. There's a mountain right there. And... That, this looks like it's going to be a boss fight. We're going on about 42 minutes on the recording right now, but I'm going to cut a lot because of Temi Village. So if we fight Undyne here, we'll see what happens. It might be a bit of a longer episode because of that. Let's go! Was I right? Was I right? Hi, Undyne. I was right. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we've collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? What should I tell that story? When you're about to die! Yeah! <clears throat> Excuse me. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams! Alphys' history books made me think that humans were cool, with their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you! You're just a coward, hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two shoes stick! Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers! You know what would be more valuable to everybody? If you were dead! That's right, human. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. Right here, right now, right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you are ready. <laughs> oh, thank you for the save point, Undyne. 
wind is howling. You are filled with determination. Undyne Arena. That's literally what it's called. You know what? This recording is going on a bit too long, so we're going to end the episode right here. Sorry to leave this on a cliffhanger, but we will face Undyne at the beginning of the next episode. Thank you for joining me for Undertale here in the Abyss. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. This music is freaking awesome. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to see more from this series, don't forget to subscribe. I will finish it. I'm totally botching the intro here. Anyway, with that being said, I've been the Boy Town here in the Abyss, and I will see you in the Abyss next time. Stay sharp, my friends. Did it did it did you do this is awesome